Hi, this is Beth Overhow for Central Kentucky Television. I'm at Idle Hour Park in Springfield, Kentucky for the annual Relay for Life event. I'm with, Mo with Monica Osborne, Osborne uh -huh. who uh, helped spearhead the, the changes that have happened this year. Yes. And being here at Idle Hour Park is one of those changes, right? Yes, we've moved our location. Uh, we In all previous years, we've been at St. Catherine uh, College, and um, we have appreciated everything that they have done for us. They have you know, sponsored us for years. Uh, I'm <clears throat> sorry. But this year, we decided to change and to bring it more into the community, to try to bring... Um, I guess more of the community into it um, because we've had you know several years where our attendance has been down um, and we wanted to try to just make major changes to try to bring that interest back into relay and that is not the only major change you've made compared to a lot of the other relays uh, what's the, the the biggest change you think you've made the biggest change is this the first time we've done a, a day relay relay as you know is always at night from um, seven at night to seven in the morning and we decided this year to do 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Um, and to do more daytime activities. Um, the one thing that we have had, um, you know, in the past is that everybody gets really tired about 2 or 3 o'clock. And we haven't had the tiredness, but because it's been so warm today, we've had the heat. But the weather has been beautiful, so it has really worked out well. The one thing that we've kept the same is that the survivor ceremony and the luminary ceremony will be tonight. And so we've kept the evening focus uh, on that and ended with the luminary session, uh, the luminary so ceremony tonight. There'll be a break in between the two ceremonies. Yes, there'll be a break in between the two ceremonies. The survivor ceremony is at seven o'clock, followed immediately by the care caregiver ceremony. Luminary ceremony will start at ten, and we'll then have closing ceremonies at ten thirty. Right. And behind us in the parking lot, you can see where the teams have set up their their booths. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll take a closer look at some of those teams. Right off the bat, top of your head, can you think of any themes any one of them have, have picked out? Um, our theme, the overall theme for Relay is finish the fight. Um, the theme for our local is fit for the fight. So we've had a big focus on fitness and health, uh, eating right, sun safety. Uh, we have the Wellness Coalition here, and they have provided, um, they had a, a trivia game, a life-size trivia game where uh, our participants had to answer questions uh, related to cancer um, and what their knowledge was for skin cancer and so that was a big focus of what we did this afternoon. Uh, we also have a team that um, focus in on, um, they had their theme is the Tour de Cure, like the Tour de France and they were giving away a bicycle and their booth was decorated um, like the, uh, a bi with a bicycle theme. Uh, so we've had several that have done some things like that. We had a Zumba demonstration this afternoon. So for 30 minutes, we all did Zumba. It was quite hot, but we did the Zumba. Um, and so we just tried to keep the focus on fit, fitness and health and how can we prevent cancer. Right, and, and some of the activities in addition to that uh, that you're having or have had, uh, the newspaper. What was that all about, the newspaper? Um, we ha we were, have a newspaper uh, design fashion show, and so using newspaper and masking tape, uh, we had models from the teams, and then the other uh, participants had to design an outfit for the participants. Uh, we've also had... Um, uh, uh, some performers, community performers. Mary Cutter was here performing earlier today. Uh, we have a performance tonight by Brian Powers, and Carrie Fowler was here in the afternoon to sing. So we've had that. We had the 4-H Young Riders who came and performed with us today. Um, so I'm trying to think what else we've done. Got, uh, we've uh, got a lot of so theme many. laps. Yeah, we've got music going all day. We've had a lot of theme laps, so we've had a Lifesaver lap, and we're going to have a Hawaiian lap later, and we've had, uh, we're going to have a Stuck Like Glue lap. And so we try to keep people walking and keeping keeping the focus of you know we're here to try to help cancer try to raise money for cancer awareness and for cancer research uh but having it in a fun way too so uh, there's a ball game going on right and there's now. there's a softball tournament that one of the teams just out of the blue said let's have a softball tournament so we've got people playing softball and raising money for uh, cancer research and so uh yeah we're making really good use of the park here because we couldn't have done that in the past and so yeah we're really using the facilities, and we have the National Guard here too. Okay. So they're here set up with some poogle sticks. If you don't know what that is, they're the fighting sticks where you get up on the. Uh, so they're they're doing that, and the kids have been in line all day for that. So yeah. Have you any idea yet how much money's been raised or you, um, at all? We before today we were uh, I think two thirds of the way to our goal, and our goal was um, thirty three thousand dollars this year, and so we were two thirds before we ever started today. 
So hopefully with today and bringing in, um, you know, our participation today that we'll get to that goal or at least get close to it. Have you noticed a lot of people coming in just to hang out and, and be here for the day? We've, our, our crowd has been, it, it's been good, um, but it's been, you know, throughout the day. So we haven't had a big crowd all at once. So we're hoping that tonight at the Survivor Ceremony that we see, you know, a lot more numbers. But we've had people here all day. So it's you know, really it, it lends well. itself well to water sports for next year if you yes. need to, if it stays warm like it's been today. We've had a lot of kids games and Vicki Lawson has been leading that. So we've had water balloon fights and she's had some kind of splash game going on. So as soon as she announces those, all the kids are gone for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> they go. <laughs> well, congratulations on, on putting together such an interesting and novel event for Washington County and, and on already reaching two-thirds of your goal. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me. Okay. Hi, I'm Laura Peake with the Washington County Extension Office. Today I'm here at the WOW Washington on Wellness Coalition booth. This is our first year of the coalition, and we have a newsletter that is put out every month. We have lots of partners on the side. If this is a coalition that you would be interested in, you can sign up to receive a newsletter at the Washington County Extension Office. There are eight dimensions of wellness. One of them is overall wellness, physical activity, nutrition eating, all of that has to do with cancer prevention. So our booth today does pertain to a lot of preventable cancers. We've got sunscreen information, we have colon cancer information, tobacco. We've had a great turnout today, lots of information. The Kentucky Department of Public Health, we have borrowed our inflatable colon from them. It's a 20-foot walkthrough that shows benign polyps, colon cancer, Crohn's disease, and healthy tissue. This has been a pretty big attraction today. Another booth here today is Fishing for a Cure. And they have lots of little informational things on their table as well. And just behind them, the National Guard set up a sort of a variation of Rock'em Sock'em Robot, I guess, with uh, giving the kids a chance to try to knock off each other off these uh, inflatables. And this booth is hunting for a cure to go kind of with the fishing for a cure. They're raising extra money today by offering face painting. You can see uh, this little girl has something painted on her cheek. And of course they have uh, their luminaries out here as well for tonight's ceremony. One advantage of having the Relay for Life event at a park is that there are existing structures that provide shade and uh, picnic tables, a lot of added features when you have your event at a park. And here is where the survivors are gathering and they've made it very pretty with flowers everywhere and the tablecloths all in purple. And going along with the theme of fighting to the finish, we have the knockout cancer booth They've decorated with boxing gloves. It looks like they have a lot of people hanging out and visiting. They, I've got some cookbooks for sale. They've got dolls and wreaths, various things that they're offering for sale to help raise more money for their Relay for Life. We are witnessing one of the activities they've got for today. It's a cakewalk. And all these people are participating for the opportunity to win a cake. And then when the music stops, they have to stop on the nearest number that's written in chalk on the ground. So, of course, you can see the luminaries are around this track as well. They have a lot of people participating. A traditional fundraiser here at Washington County's Relay for Life is the silent auction. Each team donates an item or two that they... Uh, put on a table and people come around and determine how much they would bid for that item. And you can see most of them are baskets filled with goodies. You get closer you can kind of check them out. There's one that looks like it has summer fun activities in it. And then next to this booth is Tour de Cure, Racing to, to a Cure. cure. It's almost a tongue twister. Tongue twister. 
<laughs> and they've got lemonade for sale as well. The Inoag booth is offering various items. People are raffle, they're, they're raffle items, so you buy a raffle ticket and later they will draw out of these boxes and you can win a quilt. A little television looks like, a little cute little swing. I'm here now with Christy Coulter. Hi, Christy. Hi, and you're you? with the Internet Inuak team. Yes. Yes. It was almost a tongue twister. Yeah. I've had a little <laughs> trouble with that today. Well, tell us a little bit about what Inuak's goals have been with their team. Well, we've just really just been focusing on raising as much money as we can, you know, for this cause because just about everybody here has been affected by some, you know, either they know somebody or they've had somebody go through it. So we've just been pushing. We've been doing bake sales. We've, we've been doing raffling. tickets, raffling. We've had a lot of stuff donated. And it's just been, it's amazing how people can really step up when, you know, they really want to help somebody out. And have you an idea how much you've raised so far? We've raised about $5,000 so far, but the day is young. The day is young. We can still get more. And how many team members do you have, or is it too many to count? Oh, Lord. <laughs> We've had so many people come and go today, but it averages, it's probably about 20 people. You yeah. have a good a yeah. pool to draw from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. We, But as far as, like, as far as people giving, our whole entire factory on every single shift is giving something. Whether it's donating the cakes for the our bake sales or donating quilts. I mean, these the, we have some amazing quilts here that have just have taken time and effort and just amazing. I mean, we the lady that made our quilts even made this, and she does an amazing job. Melinda Royalty. I wish she was over here because I'd, I'd throw her up here a minute, but she's doing. Uh, she's she, helped you out a lot. Yeah, she's done a lot. There, I mean, there's a lot of us that have just really, just wanted to step up to step the plate. Up to the yeah. plate cause yeah. it's been a while since Inouac's done it, and they just started back last year, and we just, we're ready for that fight. We're ready to do some good. Very good. Thank you for talking Thank to you. me. Thank you.